Live. Live with Men 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 the podcast. But this is Men 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 the podcast. Mimi naitwa Michael Baruti. Nadia is here and like we always say tunazungumzia mental health for men or why tunafanya men uh, tunafanya men 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 the podcast kwa sababu tunajaribu ku unpack na ku unlearn vitu ambavyo wanaume tumefundishwa kwa muda mrefu hmm. na kujaribu kufuata vile ambavyo ni bora zaidi lakini pia kuanzisha conversation kuhusiana na mental health kwa wanaume it's important on twitter at men the podcast and on instagram at men the podcast lakini vile vile kama unataka kuongea na Nadia au unataka kumpata Nadia It is through Mind Matters TZ, Mind Matters TZ, both on Twitter and on Instagram. And then there's a kwenye bio yake kuna link itakayokupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye website yake and then utapata emails, namba za simu and every other means ya kuweza kuwasiliana naye. So yeah, and always to jaribu ku address the elephant in the room. Yeah. But now now we are addressing the actual room. Yeah. Where the elephant exists. My man. So we are blessed to kwenye kwenye studio leo hii tuko na uh, this guy he's a comedian um, and also a filmmaker bwana Sadiq Ali Hello 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 Chief karibu sana thank you so much Na uh, tunashukuru kwa kuweza kutupa opportunity ya kufika kwenye ka studio yetu ili tuweze ku record na wewe session nyingine men 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 the podcast I uh, mean nashukuru kwa kwa kuepo Yeah, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So so when you say you're a filmmaker and uh, a stand up com- a stand up comedian. As a stand up comedian, can you be an actor? Or if you be if you're a comedian, <laughs> you have to be an actor? Not Or you can just be a comedian now for you do not do any movies, no nothing. You just do comedy. Stand up comedy. I think I think it goes with with um what kind of talents you have because mm. we've seen comedians uh, cross the border and become actors yeah. um, but i don't think i've seen actors become comedians if you don't if you, right. you if don't you got don't, the juice if, <laughs> come on how now exactly yeah but also the funny thing is as comedians when they cross over to do acting mm. um, a lot of them lose the comedy yeah oh. i see what's happening to kevin hart right now You see mm. what I mean? Probably that's why Dave Chappelle <laughs> is only doing comedies. He does not want to do movies. Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Um uh, who else? Uh, Martin Lawrence is for me was even devastating because Martin was one of the best hosts ever mm. in comedy. Yeah. One of the best comedians ever, legend hands down. But he hasn't gone back to doing comedy because he lost his touch through all the movies, the time he spent doing movies. Yeah. Mm. Comedy is a thing that you need to practice constantly. You only as good as your last performance mm. basically yeah all right so that vibe. yeah and how did you end up being how did you i was say you actually you know like this is it this is what i want to do i'm funny i can reach out to a people <laughs> nah make people up how, well, at what point for me i've been on stage since i was seven years old i've been on stage doing theater mm. i've been on stage doing um choir music i've been in a rock band <laughs> oh. so, so performance has been a big part of my life mm. um i started doing stand up comedy in 2014 when i was in cape town when i was uh, doing my last year of university mm. so um you know i've always been the funny guy in a way so um at one point we we're like guys why don't we just mm. do a comedy show and there was a uh, three other guys and myself who um one is now radio dj and i say one is a actor um the other one i have no idea what he's doing <laughs> <laughs> and then me so we just came together and did it and from the first moment i performed stand up on stage in front of people i had i've done performances before in different things mm. but when i did that i had never felt more free on mm. stage than yeah that moment and i decided okay i'm going to make this a part of my career yeah. and i do wow. this oh wow and how is it in tanzania na united i know I'm, i'm asking this question now this is me being a fan before you get to what you're going to discuss today. um in tanzania uh, perception out when you stand up comedy stand up comedy tanzania ni 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 it's still young bado ni kitu kichanga sana but it's growing at an immense speed it's growing so fast platforms in Ibuka from different places from yeah. different people so the audience is now catching up to stand up comedy the comics are also growing so we are all growing in unison in a way and we're to co pamoja which is a beautiful thing because yeah. they learn we learn and we go together okay great now back to what you're discussing today 
after a lot of talk tu, turudi kwenye tatu tunachotaka kuzungumzia leo leo hii tuna, 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 tunajaribu ku, kuangalia um, uh, a man box mm-hmm. yeah na tunajaribu kuangalia modern modern man Yeah, you're a modern man. I'd like to think I am a modern man. I, th- I, th- I feel like I'm old school a bit. I'm a modern woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you is, Nadia. Yes, you is. So, yeah, tuna, tuna, tunajaribu kuangalia modern man mm. na man box. Issue kubwa ni kwamba tunajaribu ku, ku like I said kwenye kwenye intro yetu kwamba tunajaribu ku kuridif, redefine mm. jinsi gani um, wanaume tunaangalia vitu namna gani wanaume tunatakiwa ku deal na vitu mm. na mambo kama so it was great ulivyosema kwamba you know what, guys let me get on your show and oh man and let me talk my shit so <laughs> mm. i was like cool Pretty bring him on so that is a therapist by profession mm. a man by association mm. kwa sababu ya podcast ambayo tunaifanya mm. na wewe sadik uh, based on your experience and knowledge yako so When we talk of a man box, what exactly do we mean? Tunamaanisha tu kile box la mwanaume. Au box ambayo limemfunga mwanaume. Tuna tunamaanisha nini ukiangalia current context na modern man? So do you who wants to go first between you two? Ladies first always. I saw that. Coming. That is part of the man box too. Uh, I'm not just that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but when we speak about the man box, basically society's um understanding and society's description of who a man is and what a man does what a man doesn't do so basically kama ni description mm. yeah huyu ndo mwanaume na umepewa kama terms of reference zile tr eh, tr is that this is a man does this he doesn't do this he does this mm-hmm. and for centuries men have been following have been living in that man box na pia it's passed it's, on it's, it's our bible eh, eh basically <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like the bible everyone it's like una, unakuwa and automatically to atam mtu mwingine hakuambii lakini through culture through traditions through society mm. you find yourself living those terms of reference mm. living those you know descriptors that are in the man box mm-hmm. so tukiongelea man box no basically yo, any definition ambayo watu wanawake na wanaume have created that huyo mwanaume anabidi awe hivi now so dick is that you, you agree mm. that oh kuna unacha kuongeza kwenye description mm. i i agree with her but also i would add on it's also this thing where um as men we've constructed it mm. and we decide what goes in there mm. and okay before we get too far ahead there's a lot of toxic stuff in there but yes. also there's a lot of beautiful things mm-hmm. yeah because that was my that, that was going to be my next yeah. question but is it that is it a bad thing it, mm. it's like two sides of the same coin basically mm-hmm. there's bad stuff in there definitely yes. <laughs> like wow mm. and there's kuna vitu vizuri ambao as men we can you know hold on to and say this is what it means to be a man so let's let's start with vizuri mm. what are, what, what are good things about tuna 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 tunaona kwamba vimewekwa kwenye hili box la mwanaume especially tukijaribu kuangalia mazingira tunaishi nayo sisi mwanaume wa Tanzania what are the good things about you can actually find in the man box being ambitious kwa mchapa kazi it's, it's a very it's a strong trait associated with men mm. A man needs to be a go getter, he has to be ambitious. I I you any trajectory yake, which is a positive thing. Ndio when it's in excess it leads to mental illness and mental health problems. Um so if you have it reach out. <laughs> <laughs> But um yeah, kuna kuna hizo traits like being protective. Mm. When is that a bad thing? You know? Um um But being overprotective is so everything in balance. Mm. Ni muhimu. So kuna a lot of different traits ambazo ni being assertive mwanaume kuwa assertive kuwa na msimamo ni kitu kizuri yeah but being aggressive is a different, is a different thing. thing yeah so the man box itself has okay, when we talk about masculinity itself mm. masculinity as masculinity without any cultural traditional mm. world filter is a beautiful thing all those characteristics and traits when they are lived when they're experienced any it, it, it It, it builds the man builds the world he lives in builds the society and zinaendana sasa wana complement think about yin and yang mm. there is masculine and there's feminine energy in every man there is a bit of feminine every every woman there's a bit of masculine mm. yeah so when we think about the man box it's like saying remove that feminine mm. and just amplify our Everything masculine else. characteristics yeah. so you again kwenda kwenye hiyo extreme yeah. so dick has a man box um if you could say the positive stuff before we get to 
Before we get to the other side, stuff. everybody knows that's what everybody wants to hear. But <laughs> let's talk about the positive. I, I mean, like what I'd say, I'm talking about being ambitious, being assertive, yeah, uh, being protective. Has yeah. it? Has it you personally? Has it helped you? It has in 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 um, it has in many ways. It has in the sense of like I have had to grow up with. Uh, we co- I come from a family of seven kids, <laughs> so <laughs> being the third born, you have to sort of protect the little ones. You know, you have to mm. lead them and you fight. To, you with know you. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so that protective role of the man box as well, um, the leadership aspect mm. of it, taking charge of certain things. Um, that has helped me sort of shape myself in a way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get to the other side. The things above to not your company toxic. Yeah. That are being found in the med box. What are some of these things? What is toxic masculinity in Kiswahili again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has more weight. It has an impact. It has a big impact. It's like yeah. you know, it shakes you. Yeah. 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 Um Traits like who are overly uh, aggressive. So anger is an emotion. It's healthy. Very much so. Aggressiveness and o- being overly aggressive or not being able to contain or use that anger in a way that is productive. Yeah, toxic masculinity is a lot of men. Yeah, and this is why when we think about domestic violences and all these, the statistics show m- mainly like the majority of people who are perpetrators are men. It falls in the toxic masculinity that a man is strong and so you must exercise your strength. Mm. You know, um, because it, it's my role to protect. I will do whatever it takes, you know, to, to make sure that I'm a protector. Um, vulnerability is out of that box. Kabisa. Like I cannot show any weakness. Kabisa. So being, any depriving yourself of emotions. Because that's another toxic trait. Mm. When, when we talk about toxic masculinity, ni kwamba, the only emotions that are appropriate for a man to express are anger, anger, <laughs> times three, anger. <laughs> and then there's other emotions. And then there's the, the emotions such as you know, empathy, uh, sadness, all of these we've termed, this is a female. And so, Iyo Enyepia is a toxic masculine trait. Kwamba, kusema, okay, he's into emotions and buzzer, tunaza tukazi display, na tukazi feel, afi za zengeni za wanawake. Uki, uki express his way una, ni umama uo yeah. au ni, ni nini mm-hmm. that in itself as well yeah. Yeah. you know namda mwingine as Sadiq said earlier that the man box is constructed by men mm. it was patriarchy that helped form the, the, this man box mm. na toxic masculinity imezalika na uko uko mm. You know, and you find kwamba mwanaume mwenye anaanza kujiambia ah mimi siwezi nika express his emotions kwa sababu it was it nitakuwa nitaonekana mimi dhaifu mm-hmm. wanawake ndo hiyo trait yao like it's okay for a woman kuwa weak okay. lakini mwanaume hapana mimi mwanaume lazima niwe na mm-hmm. you know ni, i have to hold hold control myself i have to keep this i have to protect which are all toxic traits so it's not just the specific words you aggressiveness you nini it's also the thinking. Mimi kama mwanaume siwezi nikalia. Hata kama nimefiwa baba yangu amekufa mke wangu amfariki, siruhusi kulia hapa. Mm. Siwezi kulia afu sasa nani ataiangalia family yangu? Yeah. Watu wanantegemea, mimi nikilia inakuaje? That thinking yenyewe pia ni toxic. Men box. Mm. Um Sadiq, so to me anadia um, mfani ame 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 amefanikiwa ni natural kutu kutueleza what the men mind box is. Mm. My, what a men box is. Box of mwanaume. Jesus, I need to speak for <laughs> Box of mwanaume ni na vitu vilivyo mumlendani mm. na thinking na nini na vitu kama hivyo. Tukijebu tuki tukijaribu kuangalia mwanaume wa sasa. Mm. Yes. Na nikizungumza mwanaume wa sasa na zunguze generation yangu wiki dogo labda watu my generation, our generation. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. our generation wazee huko tayari wameshaenda na kwa whether it worked <laughs> it worked for them au haikufanya kazi kwao that is done lakini mm. ukija kuangalia kwa current generation how 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 was this thinking how is this thinking impacting us now mm. now we're playing men box how is it actually either limiting us au ina to how was it impacting us mm. um you know, when you say it earlier, we we're trying to save a child, a boy child, in a way. Um, he toxic masculinity in Anza Mapema Sana. Mm. It starts so early. It starts when you're a kid. It starts when, like, a boy and a girl could be in a room playing. Mm. The boy and Ezakawa Nachezea, what we might deem a feminine toy. Mm. 
a doll. It could be a simple teddy bear doll. Mm. And the girl could be playing with a fire truck. An elderly person atangia kwenye icho chumba and change what they're playing with. And as a kamnyanganya, the boy, the doll, why are you playing with this? You're mm. a boy. To take the car, go play with a water yeah. gun, something. And the girl, the same thing. Why are you playing with boys' toys? Mm. Who deemed the fire truck a boys' yeah. toy? <laughs> Not the Elisema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they will change that. Kwa yu nanza mapema, a boy akua anything happens and they start crying and they run, especially to the dad or an uncle or an older brother. The first thing they get is why are you crying? Yeah, be a man. Be a man. Mm. Stop crying. Stop crying. Then talk to me. Be a man. At that moment, it goes into his mm. head. Kumba, this is wrong. Mm. I cannot express this emotion that I'm feeling through tears. Happened to Napoanza Sasa to not be able to understand our emotions. Yeah. And you cannot go through something until you go through something. You cannot understand anger, mpaka, who go through that anger. Come out the other side. Cry. Do what you have to do. Mm. Come out the other side. Then you've understood it. Otherwise, Nikitu Ambacho Unakua Umekifungia. Nikitu Ambacho Kinakua Pale. And can spread into other parts of your life. For men, it's, it's, it gets. Kama Nadia Alvosema. Your wife could pass away and you cannot cry. Personally, I was recently at a funeral. My uncle lost his wife. We drove from the burial. It's me, him, and my older brother in the car. We drove from the burial. This man has held his <laughs> hmm. emotions. Sikunzima. No he tears. Would, no tears around the aunties, around the sisters, around Nini, nothing. So when we got back to the house... Everybody has gotten out the car. What, 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 what? I'm about to lock up. He says, no, just give me five minutes. Mm -hmm. The moment I closed that door, that man broke down. Yeah. Into tears. But again, kama ulivu sema, hawezi kuonyesha kwatu kwa sababu it's deemed a weakness. It's deemed that something you cannot show. And that, again, goes through so many other things. And kwa mfano, that statement, napenda sana statement, you throw like a girl. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you run like a girl. Yes. You do this like a girl. What are we teaching boys about yeah. girls? Exactly. This is how men grow up and don't know how to deal with women. Mm. Because now they've been told early women are weaker than you, women are less than you, mm. women are this than you. And that's the whole man box. And I would say the state of how Sasaivi Dunia leave you, Nikwa Sababu. Men have been making choices out of the man box. Mm. Literally, we've been doing that. And I've been saying this so much, Kwamba, we need to take a, a seat for a moment as men and discuss what, like, reevaluate the man box. Change the rules of the man box. Because mm -hmm. it's modern times. Things have changed now. You cannot be a man without having a little feminine in you. And I'm not saying, Sijui, <laughs> not in a bad way, you can yeah. buy high heels or a dress. No. <laughs> What I'm saying is be in touch with yourself mm. because that's the only way you can be a better person with other people. And, and again, I, I like what you just said about being in touch with yourself because mm. each and as we're being honest here, so I tell the truth, nothing but the truth, <laughs> is that, that is one thing about you, even we as men, to we don't talk about it. We don't. It. Mm. We don't. And for all the things about one woman to us, here. We never, ever, ever discuss about the, you know, being in touch with yourself. Mm. Mm. Now, the advantage that it has about Twenji, probably what Twenji or Farm, mm. Nikwamba, it is so, it feels so good when, yes. when, when, mm. when you understand that about yes. you. It feels so good when you understand that about mm. you. And when you know, Kwamba, it doesn't matter how I feel about a certain situation. It is not gonna make me any less of a man. Thank mm. you. You know, yes. it, it is Thank not you. gonna make me any less of a man. Yes. But then again, to not go for one yes, peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Man box peer pressure. It comes from it. Because well, you can't bring it to the table. We're all at the table with the man box. We don't bring it to the table. Yeah. And that's a problem. We need to start discussing these things. Another thing that I, I, I call peer pressure like that, exactly like that, not being able to discuss something that's, you know, that men don't talk about mm. is the same way how we are forced as men because of the box to feel like 
you know, to show our fellow men we have power over women in the sense of, you know, even if you could, you guys could be in a club, when no men go club, you're drinking, there's a beautiful woman, uh, you're discussing, mm. uh, 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 you, you have that pressure of go. Yeah. It's not a choice you're making. In mm. sense. In <laughs> sense. You don't even want to. Go. You don't want yeah. to. Utaki. Umekunya pali to do other things, to conversate, to have a drink. But because the box has yeah. now said go, mm. and if you don't, you are weak. You are not man enough. Mm. Yeah, group on WhatsApp, you see what I mean? So yeah. we really have to define this man box. We really yeah. have to say this. And then, so, um, how do we, as men, uh, because, like you said, I think uh, from my understanding in Kwamba, peer pressure, you know, in a, in a change. Because Babu, I believe, what I believe, in Kwamba, kila mtu wa mwenyewe, I feel like a lot of men, sometimes, to kika wenyewe, tunapenda kuwa, opposite na tunavyo unyesha jendu. Mm. That, that's what I like to think. Yes, right. You know, yeah. kumbani, nikika, mimi nikika, yen nyumbani kwa mwenye ni mejifungia. Yes. I'm like, but I do not like how yeah. maybe jisi na vyo act, jisi na vyo ungea na watu, jisi na vyo troll watu mm. online, mm. you know? Jisi uh, na vyo ungea Twitter na kuandika vitu na vyo andika na vitu kama vyo na nini na nini. But then, if I don't do it, you're not mad enough. I'm not mad enough. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment you step out of your door, which, you know, your comfort zone, do. Kitoka to pali, you gotta put on your man hat. Pop. Yeah. And it might not, that man hat might not be everything you agree with, but it's the hat that the collective is wearing. Mm. And if you don't wear the same hat, you're different. Jesus. You're out of the group. <laughs> you're out of the man group. <sighs> <laughs> and, and when we look at it, binadamu, tunataku belong into yes. a group. That's why we have borders and we have countries and we have what, we have cultures, we have traditions. Ata Tanzania nye, Kuna tribes kibao, mm. groups. Over 120. And number. people want, mm. we all want to belong somewhere. Mm. Sasa wewe, nyumbani ndiyo, ndani kwa kwa unafiki, una, unazo kwa kwa kasema, ah, I don't really, mm. have you resonate, na chokifaya, na mina vojisikia, have you endani. Yana, akilitako inagombana kila saa. It's like, what are we doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lakini sasa ukitoka nje, usema uvu yo kofia, ita threaten sasa your belonging in a group, mm. which is a big thing. Mm. Yeah. And that's why I think that's one of the biggest things that forces men to continue wearing the hat. Because mm. I'm not going to go out of the group. Because now you're on your own. I talk if you're in survival basis, you are better off in a group. If anything happens, you're stronger together. Yeah. When you talk to, I mean, you talk to your podcast, 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 in our lives, you know, no one ever says that they're happy about not being able to express themselves, not being able to be who they truly are. Mm. Lakini, because they need to belong in this group, not the, I can't afford to not be part of the group because then what does that mean? I'm on my own. Keeps what, you. What is wrong with being on your own though? People don't know how to be on their own. Yani that's a, S- speak on it a little bit more. That's a big thing. <laughs> um, personally, I, I had to get that experience Bila kupenda in a way. Mm. Um, at 10 years old, I was in SA school, boarding school. Mm. No family, mm. nobody I know. Just take and go to boarding school. Now I've been dropped kwenye hii dunia ambayo or this world where I don't know this culture. I don't have the mental capacity to break it down and see where I fit. Yeah. I'm still a boy who's 10 years old. So for I spent about a year at that school. For the most part, yeah, yeah, that year, I was alone. I did a lot of things alone. My thinking was very myself. This, So I, I was very internalized in a way. I was very much an introvert than anything else. Mm. And by all, personally, growing up, it helped me feel okay to be different. Mm. It made me feel comfortable to be different. To do to go against the grain, to do something that people don't agree with. Because for me, it makes me smile. Because when people don't agree with it and you don't agree with the collective and they deem you out, this uh, is crazy. Ooh, uh, ooh. Shum zima. Shum zima. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Because I get to take my own stance. Hmm. Through that, I can put my hand up and declare to everybody, I know who I am. I am proud of who I am. The values yes. I hold of who I am mean so much to me. And none of the collective, none of that can change that. For a bigger part of my adulthood, I would say about three or four years, three years, I went through 
see most people would not speak about this most men would not speak about this but i went through a deep moment of depression because i had to adjust i had come from somewhere else and i'm here in dar and i had to adjust to lifestyle in dar mm. i had to adjust to how people carry themselves workspace you know home family that's yeah. that because i've been away different cultures different places yeah. and now okay i'm back home now i have to adjust again and because because i was so comfortable with my inner space and my own understanding at one moment it clicked and i went hold up first of all why am i trying to fix this internal problem with external solutions why am i looking to people to try to fix this why am i trying to fit in into this world that clearly i'm having problems with so the moment i internalized everything and i went into the inner space and clear things and fix systems and everything i was like mm. thank goodness i'm back and it was almost like i cured myself of depression you know and for me i was like i have to i have to make people aware of the space that they don't actually know is there and it's the most important space of all your internal space is so important what you let in from the outside will affect you subconsciously at all you mm. you just new manners new behaviors you're doing something about it Why do I do mm. this? Everybody will just go, but this is not me. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you do stuff by day. When you go back, you're like, oh, but hold up. That, really, <laughs> that wasn't me. Exactly. Because mm. oh, wow. we just do things because the collective is doing it because it's deemed this is what is appropriate. Like the saying, ah, ni maisha tu. It's 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 life. Life is not. No. <laughs> <laughs> like we have the power as human beings to make changes. Mm. We're the ones who decide what is okay and what is not okay. The problem is to make sure where it's like, eh, it's okay. Mm. Eh, it's fine. That is such a big issue because now whoever can take advantage of that will take advantage of that because what? Everybody says it's fine. Yeah. I can do this. Mm. Whether it's a bad thing or a good thing, I can mm. do this. And that So this brings you back to another issue by I think we talk, we talk about um collective collective thinking mm-hmm. now and I think pia kitu kingine ambacho uh vinaenda hand in hand with what you just said mm-hmm. is that because of that collective thinking now as a result men we do not hold each other accountable thank yeah. you yeah because we say ah it's fine <laughs> it's, uh, it's you know we do, men as men mm-hmm. we don't hold each other accountable kuna watu ambao tunawajua wanafanya vitu uh well au labda hata mimi niko hapo kwenye podcast lakini maybe na traits zangu ambazo sio nzuri na watu wanazijua lakini we've like you said the men box has made it quite okay kufanya vitu ambavyo they are not okay as a result as men we don't hold each other accountable na hii kwa sababu i think on social media uh, especially twitter uh, lately wadada wengi sana wamekuwa wakiongea kuhusu 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 hicho kitu kama wanaume na as much as wanaume we don't like it mimi najua pia ni ukweli Mm. We don't hold each other uh, each other accountable when it comes to being faithful, when your relationships, we don't hold each other accountable tunapojua kwanza baadhi ya marafiki zetu maybe mm. wana traits ambazo sio nzuri. We don't any we've normalized it for so long. Guess conversation nyingine we don't it's quite okay to get trash. Yes. Yeah. Sasa nyingine ni kali hiyo sasa kweli ya. Kwa sikuizi kuna msemo unasema wanaume watakufedhesha. You know? So some of the stuff I've often been talking about you say yeah yeah kwa hiyo naomba tunajua kutia watu fedha. You know it comes it comes from that. Mm-hmm. From that thinking. Now here fear kila mtu kusema kwamba mimi as a man I need to be uh, more responsible. I need to get out of this group thinking mm-hmm. na kwanza kufikiria mwenyewe individual and it's hard. It right? is. It's yeah. hard. But but for you how did you get here? It, for me for me it was actually living with different people from different cultures mm. um i lived in india i lived in germany for a while i lived in sa so just in these different places you cross paths with so many different mm. people from so many different nations and you see how certain people carry themselves you go into their homes you see the cultures and how they live and how and in i take my upbringing of you know swahili upbringing and i sort of reflected with that mm. and i go oh we do this they do that mm. oh we do it like this they do it like that mm. from there and from also actually i've always had this seeking to 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 know you know to try and learn something different to try and understand something from a different perspective which has helped me also see things differently you know mm. like the whole um you just brought it up how we don't hold ourselves accountable as men each other mm. you know if <laughs> I don't know if I say, say it. It. <laughs> just say it just say it um 
it, it yeah. is really, really bad when <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll edit it out. Oh, yeah. If it's not really, really bad, we'll leave it. <laughs> Let's say the whole being faithful thing. Mm. I come from parents who are divorced. Mm. So I never got to grow up in a home where I can see what love is between two people. You know, but I've been around other people's homes where I mm. see that, or other people's parents, and I see that. So for me, being a man means just that, being faithful. Mm. Because if you cannot be faithful to your first partner, the one that you've decided, let's say you pe- to they're married, if you cannot be faithful to, to the woman you're married to, how can I hold you to be faithful to other things? When this is the person you've decided you're having the rest of your life with, you're building your life with, you, she gave you kids. Mm. <laughs> mm. She gave you nine months, bro. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a lot. That. That's, yeah. No man can do that. Yeah. So being faithful is a trait that we should not equate with. I feel like we equate it with women. Mm. It's a female yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I it's a female it. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But being faithful should be just next to something like leadership or honesty. Mm. You know, it should be a trait that has no gender. These traits don't exactly. have gender. They're just ways of life, how you live your life. Mm. So we should, as men, hold each other accountable. You know, but the mind box is stopping us. <laughs> yes, hmm. but again, that's why I say we need to redefine the man box. Yeah, yes. and to sit down and change the rules of the man box. Times is changing now. Like, um, I have a problem with how Africans we've not been okay with the whole gay issue. We have bigger issues, guys. <laughs> to yeah. know like I should, we shouldn't be worried with what one does with their sexuality. You know what I mean? Mm. So as 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 Africans, we need to also be in that space of guys, it should be okay for me to have a gay friend or a gay brother or a gay this or a gay mm. sister or that. We, we we did an episode that uh, he did in Bonaire like uh, a year ago. The one with um, we, um, the guy we record with again, uh, Robin. And uh, he said something about what you just said. And I said, Ma, yeah, yeah, growing up as a kid, he knows for sure one of the things he never had to worry about was just the thought of his son being gay. Mm. He never ended up getting to a corner. Like in him being a father now, there's something that is something that you have Modern to think time. about. Modern <laughs> times, Komba, should something happens, to Tuangu and Akuja Kunebio Komba, Dad. I'm a they. I am a, I'm a they. I mean, mm. how, 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 what, what, what yeah. do I do? How would you so, take Manaki, this is my Manaki, pronoun. Again, mm. now, are you going to love your son any less? Exactly. You know your own flesh and your blood. own flesh, flesh and blood. You know? Your own investment. Man of Blair. Are you Man gonna now Blair be like you know? Are you gonna go like now? You're well. I love you, but I don't love you, you so know? much because you're gay. Or you know that is one thing about yeah. your again. Something changed. Mm. Things, things are changing. Like you said, the man box. The man now, box. as men, we have to we have to think about yeah. Do we? Re- oh, we should just get rid of the box. <laughs> I feel like we can't get rid of the box. <laughs> do we need the box? <laughs> we do, we do, but what goes in it is what needs to be our thinking. Yeah. What are we putting in this man box? Because at the end of the day, we're passing it on. Mm-hmm. I've received it from, from you know, like my older brothers, my uncles, mm-hmm. my dad, and I'm going to pass teachers, it on. Teachers, friends. Teachers, friends, and everybody, and we pass it on. And yeah. it's things that we, in a way, even the people passing it on don't have a, like a sort of, set agreement on mm. just somebody adds something yeah so this person adds it uh, and then you get it mm. and then you're not like okay <laughs> this is what I have to deal with and you cope with it and then you pass it on mm. you know what I mean so what goes in there and Dovito and Bavo to Nabidi to Kai na ku redefine the man box is super super dope kuna nini ndani kuna question kuna a certain event I think um, the event we did last year the film the screening of the film and after that, we so we could. We, what was the name of that film, Nadia? The that was, masks we wear. Yeah, the mask. The mask we, I wear. Yeah, the mm-hmm. mask I wear. So after that, we had a discussion, and then we had this guy, Akonge, and Asema. His father was a soldier. Mm-hmm. He was like in the monastery, I guess. I come and play like a boarding school. Like in here, Asema, he was different from other guys. Mm-hmm. You know, he wasn't really tough. Come out in here, or nini, na nini, na vitu kama So, because of that, 
wenzake wakaanza kumwambia kwamba wewe utakuwa shoga. Mm. Mm. Kwamba even though yeah. even though <laughs> even though yeah. not so maana yake maisha yake yote ya all level. Na we all know co- the conversation ya ushoga na being gay how it is mm. katika katika culture yetu ya Tanzania. So maana yake maisha yake yote alifanya all level in the boarding school. Mm. He was dealing with that. Na alikuwa anasema akirudi nyumbani hajui hata anaanza anaanzisha vipi mm. conversation mm. kumwambia baba kwamba I feel like I'm being bullied at school, at school. kwa sababu ya watu wanambia hivi hivi vina hivi and the, even though I'm not as he was talking mwenyewe nikaanza kufikiria shule nilizopita mm. watu nilikuwa tunawatania na nini nini and how as a result probably kuna watu wamekaa na hiyo trauma yes. yeah. na kuna watu wamekaa na hiyo trauma na probably some of them all most of them they haven't dealt with it kabisa mm. mm-hmm. do we do we blame the main box for that as well yes <laughs> yeah Absolutely. we need to hold ourselves accountable because if we don't ndo hiyo we keep passing it on mm. <laughs> we keep passing it on and my child or your child will be in school and go through the same thing yeah and then their child will go through the same thing mm. it just keeps going on and on and on yeah. so we have to hold ourselves accountable the first time i went to school with um, gay people around me coming from a Tanzanian upbringing again my head was filled with that's wrong mm. you know that's wrong people go to hell for that that's yeah. wrong and i get around these people and my first um express expressions yani and you wanna conversate with people and they're there was very ugly mm. was very ugly and you know how they treated me was different they treated me kindly They treated me with respect and all that. Mm. It I remember correctly to this day. The room was filled, conversation and I sank into my chair. I'm like, what are you doing? Did you decide to be nasty or did mm. somebody else decide for you? Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to first yourself. That whole you starting with the man in the mirror or you starting with the person in the mirror, mm. that is mm. deep. Mm. So you have to go internally and assess yourself. Do, does this represent me and who I am? Every single thing we do, because that's how we define ourselves. The things yeah. that we pick as what's right and wrong mm. is what defines us as a person. So I had to sit down and go, wait a minute. He is so kind and nice to me. Why am I so nasty to this person? Do I choose this because this is who I am and this is what I've decided, or has society? and you know the world and where i come from yeah. filled my head with mm. this and the moment i sort of got rid of that part maybe as little or how as big as it was it was almost like a little weight off or a little cleanse of you know cleaning up some toxic parts mm. out and i found this whole new space where i can have a relationship with people mm. who are not of you know the same sex sexual orientation as me in the sense of who they like and who yeah. they want to be with yeah. and it opened a whole new world hmm. it is it is a crisis and uh um na katika times ambazo tuna tuna kasisi uh, kipimo cha wanaume kina 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 tuna tuna, tuna pima ubora wa, wa, wa wanaume na 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 wadilifu wao hmm. kwa jinsi ambavyo sisi tunataka wao wawe hmm. not because of wow when attack of kwanani exactly you know and then again that's a it's a, it's a problem that in itself is very toxic it is it is it is it mm. is very toxic nadi it is very toxic and then again process zima like what what said you just said for him it it and it was a process mm. yeye kuweza kukaa na kujigundua na kusema you know what i'm not going to be driven mm. na 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 mtazamia watu wengine na na wananilio and it takes actually it takes a strong man Exactly. Cool. It takes a very strong man. Mm-hmm. Cuz you're cool. breaking to build. Yeah. You have yeah. to break down that man that you carry so you can create another one. It's like creating a sculpture. It's a rock. You have to break it down, mm-hmm. chisel all the way yeah. to create something new. Yeah, and a lot of people are not ready for that. Oh no, it's a process. Sir. It's, it's hard a, work. <laughs> it's a process. And we don't like hard work. <laughs> Humans. I mean Nadia from from your perspective um you've dealt with people have you ever have you ever had a person on the photo when you come not that they have issues the marriage mm. probably marriage you cuz you know I'm talking about come you know I really really want to be a better person help me hmm. so I do get people who their main goal ni I want I, w- I want to improve uh nimeona mapungufu yangu or nadhani na mapungufu so nataka unisaidie ku kuyaelewa you know so again it's the whole nisaidie to take this journey within 
because that's all we do. I just accompany you. I walk with you as you're exploring mm. so that you're not on your, you're not alone. Yeah, and if anything is to come up, then tuko pamoja tutai tutalifungua, tutalifafanua, tutali dissect, tutaliangalia and then we'll put it back together. We'll continue walking. Now, ukiangalia a lot of the times all these different the, the toxicity, ni experience, umepitia experience hii, imekushape ina flani na wewe unatengeneza sasa your understanding okay. So if I'm if I'm a man, alafu nimefanya hivi, nimepata this reaction means this is not right. And so just as Sadiq said, so okay, let me define. This is something a man doesn't do and add kwenye box. And I'll pass on. So now it's like generations and generations of m- the first box had the basic masculine traits and characteristics that are positive and are constructive. And then as we go by and we harshly enforce mm. those traits, kwamba huwezi ka deviate kwenye ili box. Ili box hautakiwi kuruka, kuenda pengine. There's no exploring outside the box. That sasa inaza ku build that toxicity. Kwa sababu ndio as we said earlier, a man a woman we're yin and yang. In each there is the other. And that's why we complete each other. Yeah, the world needs men and it needs women. So the masculine or the the man box just put down these are the sets and characteristics of a man not looking at that small part that is feminine and saying that nah, he, th- these two belong in this box so, so when we don't do that and we each that's ndo kweli wetu kwamba in me there is sensitivity in me there is love in me there is weakness then experience of tanazo this is a shape the toxicity because when you're trying to express us a, that small part of you that has these feminine characteristics and traits, you're met with a hammer. Unafunzo sasa, okay, mwanaume atakiri ku express hivi. Anaongeza sa kwenye boxi, da. Anampa mwanae. Mwanae ni yato kwa experience. Eh, ana experience zake, na eh, pa, anaongeza. The people I work with, ni process hiyo sasa ya ku unlearn. Kwa mba, ni mepitia experience hii. And I see who was a who explained, see who was that who see who do see or who experience your emotion. Mtu alini umiza, alini sema vibaya, alifanya kitu kikani, kikani umiza. Yeah, I felt bad, but I was never allowed to be vulnerable. So see, I pity your emotion, see, I process, see, I digest, see, I yell. So in therapy, mtu tunachokifanya hicho, go back to an experience wangalia haya, hii experience ime kuimpact vipi? Tuangalie kwenye timeline yako, hiyo experience ime ime affect mambo gani mengine? Your interaction na watu, how did that experience impact it? Na unaona hapo sasa toxicity that has come from a specific isolated event mm. imekuwa perpetuated. But, but this is something about for both nataka kuelewa. How important is it au ni ni powerful kiasi gani kumwalao mtu kuwa vulnerable? It is the most valuable priceless gift that you can give anyone kwa sababu binadamu ni dhaifu our nature ki virus kinatuua <laughs> we are weak as as humans we are strong yes but ukiangalia like our nature harsh weather can kill us yeah. and ndo maana sasa tume evolve we've become intelligent we not to build houses we not to make air conditioners we not to make heaters kwa sababu tunajijua binadamu kwa ndani wetu sisi ni wadhaifu so when we allow each other to be vulnerable basically tunakubali tun, we are allowing each other kuwa binadamu kwamba wewe ni dhaifu and i accept you as the human that you are that's what vulnerability is because if i say i have to be strong mi huyu huyu utanikuta pale hospitali na mafua au nina homa you know so when we think about it hata mimi mwenyewe nikisema no me i'm strong alafu nikaumwa kidogo nikawa sh- shaken nitaanza kuji question sasa my own identity i believe i'm strong but here i am niko kitandani siwezi kusogea the experience don't add up mm-hmm. that leads to a lot of mental distress so ukimwa ukimruhusu mtu kuwa vulnerable au tuka we give each other the space to be vulnerable then tuna tuna on, we see each other mm. as who we are which is the most important thing is to be seen I see you I hear I accept you and that's when you we add vulnerability there that's in all your vulnerability I think excuse me you cannot be shallow sure I'll be using that line <laughs> if you're not really want to be I see you oh yeah I that hear that you breaks down so I many. accept mm. you yeah. you do you I think I should use that in, in a <laughs> not with my wife because clearly it's okay some of you like with other people so they, do you feel like you are allowed to be vulnerable are we you okay with being vulnerable can be that's the thing 
I will not let somebody else dictate how I feel, you know, even though it happens on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, you allow somebody else to get you angry. You mm. allow somebody else to get you sad. It happens. But then there has to be those moments where you catch yourself and go, mm, come mm. on now. Why? Why can somebody else have power over my exactly. self-esteem? Mm. The key word is self. self. Mm. <laughs> it's your esteem. Yes, exactly. sir. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. So, and also, I like what Nadia said about being seen because vulnerability should be something that doesn't have judgment next to it. Mm. It should have observation next to it. Because when you observe something without judgment, the thing is as it is. If we put, like, shades, glasses, you know what I mean, and observe them, these are glasses. But you might say, I don't like the brown. You judge them. She might say, I don't like this. She judged them. Mm. But if we observe them as it is, then it is as it is. Mm. So when somebody is vulnerable and in that space, without judgment, they can observe and see themselves and go, oh, my goodness. Mm. I didn't even know I liked this. I didn't know I felt this about, about this. I didn't even know this, this and that. Because there's no judgment to go, mm-mm, mm. mm-mm, that's... Uh, that's weak or that's this or that's that mm. you know it just is as it is mm. yeah and then before uh, something she said something about emotions processing emotions mm. processing emotions I'm still somebody who doesn't process emotions as they happen because again I reach into my man box yeah. <laughs> and I go I have to be a man about this yeah. Yeah. and that's been my process of something happens whether it's tragic whatever but it comes with emotions I always go, okay, emotions, sit in this room for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Let's deal Let with me deal with this situation. Yeah. But what a lot of men forget to do is to go back go, and check yes. up on emotion. We keep going. Mm. Emotion now becomes an elephant in the room. It's huge. Because it started yeah. as a little mouse, now it became this big thing. Mm-hmm. But we have to, once you've done with the object, well, uh, like once you've dealt with the thing, go back now. Mm. Deal with you. Because whatever it is, is external most of the times. It is something you got to do out here to fix. Mm. And then you fix it and you go, ah, okay, cool. But you didn't fix you. Yeah. You didn't fix how that thing made you feel or how it affected mm. your ways of being. So we have to go back and go, okay, let me deal with this. And when we're dealing with it, don't serve it tea. Let it in through the front door, let it out the back. The moment you let it in through the front, serve it tea, you could just, it messes with your mental state. Now it's going so many different places because you're judging. You're, mm. uh, oh, I, f- I cried. Uh, that mm. makes me weak. Uh, I did this when that happened. Oh, no, I shouldn't. No, dude. <laughs> Just let it in. Be thankful for it because that experience either has shown you something about yourself or has shown you a different way about something. With experiences, right? Because there's no place you learn more about yourself mm. than right. in experiences, I mean, in relationship with people, in relationship with places, and in relationship with things. Mm. That's where you learn the most about yourself. And we go through these experiences, and then we reach into the man box and equate these experiences with the man box. Mm. Then we mess up. But if you go through something, look at it from your own perspective as a man. Look at it from, does this define who I am? Does this represent myself to the people and the world that this is who I am? And then make your own choices from that without reaching into the man box. Because once you reach into there, uh, you're back there. Mm. You're back in the man box. Yeah. As you're winding up, there's Mm. something that I wanted to ask you. I know I asked you this when Mm. we were chatting on Twitter, on uh, on Instagram Mm. the other day, but... uh, um, about comedians and masking their emotions. Oh, I love that question. <laughs> yeah, because uh, oh, uh, wow. most of the time, funny men, comedians, our what on body watch or a pedo chekesha to nani nani. In most cases, according to who you to your name, I don't know how true that is, but with different research, and still common equal you not, but you can tell you can also talk to kind of your personal experience is that most of them. They use the stage and wezwao na vipaji vyao kufurahisha watu na kufanya other people happy because wako busy masking their own emo- any masking their own emotions. You say kama comedian is a job just like any other job, yeah, literally. But I, I, it goes both ways. But then, but then being a comedian is different. It goes both ways. Because you have to deal with emotions quite yes. quite. Now, most of the time, you don't get through your own personal experiences. Yes. Mm. At least from my understanding. So, how true is that? 
if I say that, you know, comedians are not unhappy people or, you know, as you've just mm-hmm. described them, then I'm eliminating a whole group of people, yeah. which is not true. So I would say it's, it's I, like, I like to, what I like to call divine dichotomy or the divine uh, sort of truth that exists in two places mm. that are different. Just speak English, please. <laughs> <laughs> like two things that exist as true in the same space, but are completely opposite. But one has to exist for the other to exist. Mm. Big has to exist for small to exist. Left has to exist for right, right and vice yeah. versa for every other thing. So comics, yes, there's comics who generally are sad, depressed, mm. are going through things. And when they get on stage, it's therapy for them to express them through comedic values or comedic expression, and mm. people laugh. That's therapy for, for us, you know. We go, well, that was nice. Mm. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's a little joy that happens. Mm. And then there's comics who are okay. They have nothing wrong with them. They have either come from nice families, well-educated, their minds are clear, but they're on stage doing comedy. Yeah. You know, so both worlds exist. For me personally, comedy was, became therapy. Literally, that it became therapy. It became a space where, when I'm on stage, everything else is off. Nothing else matters. I'm mm. on stage for that moment, for that little bit of moment. And when I get back off, I'm back to all the stuff that I just blocked. Mm. So, as a comedian, I transitioned from actually trying to use a lot of my pain or trying to use a lot of sadness and what and turn it into comedy and make people laugh to just take life and make it comedy. Mm. Whether whatever it hands you, whether it's the good, the bad, make it comedy. Because if you don't do that, you're going to get to a space where there is nothing wrong with you. Where does your comedy come from now? Because you're so used to reaching into that bag of pain yeah. to deliver comedy. Now you have no more pain. So where is your comedy coming from now? So I think a well-rounded comedian, Nim Tuambai, just takes from everything. Whatever, you, you know, everything around you, nature, environment, people, places, and just form it through your experiences of how you see it. Because that's what matters. People come to see how you see it as mm. a comedian. What is your take on it? You know, what is, how, how do you put it in a special way? You know, and the beautiful comedy is experienced comedy in the sense of I'm telling you something that I've experienced. And you can never lie to the audience. Mm. The audience knows when you're not telling the truth. They're waiting to eat you up. They can detect it. They They can smell it. It's like sharks and blood in the water. They smell Mm. it. And the moment they feel that you're being honest, you're speaking from a place of truth, they will ride with you all the way. You could even think that was not funny. But to them, the energy connects. They relate to, they feel your truth. You could have not said one punchline in two minutes, but people just started clapping because they feel where you're coming from. Mm. So honesty is very much key on stage more than anything else. So that is Sadiq. Uh, Sadiq, if people want to reach out to you, how do they reach mm. out? How do how do they get in touch with you? Um, on Instagram, I go by the handle I am Sadiq Ali. That's Sadiq with the CK. A lot of mm. people put Qs. People put this. <laughs> people get beat <laughs> with your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I am Sadiq. Sadiq Ali on Instagram, on Facebook, it's Sadiq Ali. On Twitter, I believe it is Sadiq Ali. Yeah, you haven't <laughs> so used across... Twitter in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to feel about Twitter. I feel like when I speak on Twitter, people go, "Yeah, no, nah, you can't speak about that about Twitter. You can't say it about Twitter." Yeah, yeah. Twitter is a little bit too sensitive right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, it is. Um, as you're winding up, Kabisa, if there's one thing you want people to live with on this podcast mm. from the conversation we, we've mm. had, what would that be? What I like to say, love yours. In the sense of, no matter what, there's always going to be something better. Mm. There's always going to be somebody with a bigger car, somebody with a more money, somebody with more this. That which you have, hold on to it. Mm. it uh, appreciate it. You know, add value to it. Because that's basically your, your world. Mm. That right there is your world. And as, as, as people, I would also like if we could reach out more to each other. In the sense of, in a caring sense, in the sense of, what's going on, bro? Talk to me. Mm. You know, we don't do that as men. Yeah, we don't. No, we don't. Let alone as a people. Yeah. As men, we don't do that, mm. you know? So I think for, 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 yeah, just a little more love, a little more caring for each other, the empathy and appreciation. 
because my my motto in life or my idea of life is you just have to go through life doing good not anything more than that yeah. just do good just do that's good. it mm. Nadia for me I think we know the man box exists and we know how much it limits us so so now we know kwamba we we are social beings and we like mm. we like to belong lakini kama wote tuna we feel the same way about this man box which clearly we do tukianza moja moja wetu unaanza kuishi you live your truth yeah you step out of that man box or you relabel the man box and turn it into a possibility box as a man i can be brave strong and assertive but i can also be uh, in tune with myself with my emotions i can be empathetic thank you apo ume <laughs> you, you've claimed the world as yours and you've embraced and accepted yourself and kama leo as an individual leo nadia nikaamua kusema okay me i'm going to live my truth kesho ane michael ananiona na una mbona nadia is comfortable and okay with being herself what i mean ni jaribu because in my private time i've thought about how i live my life and who i am haviendani michael does it next sadik does it the next thing we know we're all a collective living our truths mm. and so now we're not outside the group we're individuals in a group so instead of having that collective thinking we're all we have our own thinking but we all belong together one human race <laughs> we belong together <laughs> um yeah so i i think uh but peer pressure guys peer pressure i think that is yeah. one thing about your wanaume lazima we have to address it mm. na vivyo we have to find a way ya ku ya ku unpack na ku na kuiangalia na kuwa na namna gani ambavyo ina ina to affect sana kwa sababu so lazima basically the men box is about the peer pressure mm. is about making us men do the things some of the things even we don't believe in mm. lakini kwa sababu tu tunataka ku fit in like I've said ma tunajikuta tunaingia katika huo mtego so mm. box of wanaume inabidi liwe unpack inabidi tuliangalie na inabidi tuanze kuweka vitu vipya yeah. if need be <laughs> na nadhani hicho ndio ambacho kina hmm. kina ina, inabidi ifanye it can start with me and you yeah. and we are going to skills as a savior yeah? Yeah so yeah Sadiq thank you for coming through my guy this so has much. been uh, this has been a great conversation thank you for coming through mekwa conversation nzuri sana and i think i think kwa mtana ambaye amesikiliza ameelewa kwa nini we had to come and address the man box mm. our box of wanaume kwa sababu katika dunia ambayo wanaume anachukuliwa kama kiongozi then hili box ndio lina shape hii dunia oh yes yes yeah katika oh, dunia ambayo wanaume mimi kama baba nyumbani tayari ni kiongozi uko ofisini as a leader tayari ni kiongozi ukiwa ni kaka mkuu Yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> na vivi katika dunia ambayo inaishi katika mfumo dume kama wa kwetu then basically it is super important to address the man box box of wanaume so we we'll keep talking about this we we'll keep doing men 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 the podcast because that is the reason uh, to be on this podcast if you want to reach out to Nadia at mind matters tz both on instagram and on twitter There's a bio kwenye uh, there's a link kwenye bio yake ambayo itakupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye website yake. Mimi naitwa Michael Baruti till next time. Thank you for listening. Men 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 the podcast.